Okay, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. We're going to deal with some relational issues. How's that? Mmm, yeah. I can get very deep. Some of us have friends that can be very possessive, very jealous. Just friends. Some of us can have dates or casual acquaintances that can have those same tendencies. Well, you know they're danger signs. Because some of you have friends you think are just friends, and some of them are carrying a crush for you, and you don't get it. Then you get those people who are dating you, and as you grow closer, you notice they want you to grow further away from your long-term relationships because they are jealous of your family ties. They're jealous of your long-term friendships. They're jealous of your church and job relationships. They're very jealous. And there may come times when you're out in a public setting and someone walks up to you and starts holding a conversation and the other person gets this unholy quietness about them. They act like they're walking around with a chip on their shoulder. And you're wondering, what happened to you today? Well, here's your warning. Watch who you hang with. Because there are very dangerous, uh, very dangerous attachments that some people will make on you. And... You don't get it because that's not where your head is. That's not the kind of person you're used to being around. But there are people out there that will hurt you, sabotage you, undermine your efforts, or will be a, as the Bible calls it, a divider of friends, of friendships, a person that sows discord among friends. Be very careful. That's all I'm going to say about that because there are some very strange people out there nowadays. People are getting more and more mental and we have to really watch who we form friendships and attachments with. Everyone with a smile is not a God-given gift. You hear me? Everything that's a smile does not necessarily mean you well. There are narcissistic cycles out there that want someone they can control in order for them to feel good about themselves. And they've got their sights beaming on you and you have no idea. Stay away. It's better to have no friends than to have a friend that wreaks havoc in your life on a constant basis. Please be careful.